Hey guys, this is Brittany from Just Be Crafty and today I'm going to show you how to make the crochet cabin dishcloth. This is a free pattern that I offer on my blog as well as a printable version that I offer for purchase in my Etsy shop. I'll link both the free web version and the printable Etsy version in the comment section or the description box below. To get started, you'll need a skein of 100% cotton yarn. I like to use Lily Sugar and Cream yarn, and this is in color Blueberry, I believe. Yes, Blueberry. A size 5mm crochet hook, a yarn needle, and a pair of scissors. This pattern creates a 7 by 7 inch dishcloth. So without further ado, let's dive into the pattern. You'll want to begin by making a slip knot and by chaining 21. And if you're having issues or need help with chaining or making a slip knot, um, be sure to see my tutorial on how to do the crochet foundation chain and I go over this technique and I'll link that below as well. So we'll begin by chaining 21. So that's one, two, three, and so on. Okay, so now you should have 21 chains on your foundation chain and we'll begin by starting in the second chain from the crochet hook and we'll single crochet into each chain until we get to the end of the row and then we'll turn. So if you look real closely, so this is the first chain from the crochet hook and this is the second chain from the crochet hook. So that's the stitch we wanna go in. So one, two. So you'll insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through both lo loops. And that's a single crochet. So you're gonna do that until you get to the very end. All right, so you should have made it to the other end. So you should have 20 stitches in your first row. And now we're going to turn our work. And when we turn, so now we're starting on row two. We, be, we begin row two by chaining two. So one, two, and then we're going to half double crochet into the first stitch. So to half double crochet, you yarn over and we're going into that very first stitch. So insert your hook, grab your working yarn, pull it through, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook. The next stitch, we're going to slip stitch. So to slip stitch, you don't yarn over, you just insert your hook, pull your yarn, working yarn, pull it through the stitch, and then just pull this, pull this first loop through the second loop on your hook. And that's a slip stitch. So we're just going to repeat half double crochet slip stitch until we get to the very end. So I'll show you again. The next stitch we do a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, grab the working yarn, pull it through, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook. And then slip stitch into the next stitch. So insert your hook, grab the working yarn and take that first loop and slide it under that second loop on your hook. All right, so you're just gonna keep doing that until you get down to the very last stitch of the row. Okay, so I'm just getting into that very last stitch and in the very last stitch we should be doing a slip stitch. So it could be a little bit, can be a little bit tricky to get your hook in there, but this is what it should look like. So you just get your hook in there, pull that working yarn, and then finish your slip stitch. Now we've finished row two and to start row three we'll turn our work. And for rows three through 21, we're just going to keep repeating row two. So we're gonna start by chaining two and then doing a half double crochet in the first stitch, slip stitch in the next stitch. I would go ahead and pause the video and meet me back up when you're ready to start row 22. 
So once you get a few rows under your belt, this is what you should start to end up with. You get this really pretty texture from alternating the slip stitches and the half double crochets. Um, so it can be a little, if you're a beginner, it might be a little bit tricky to kind of see where you're actually supposed to insert your stitches. So I'll show you for the path for the last couple stitches that we have. So this is what it should look like and we'll yarn over, insert our hook into that next stitch, pull it through and do half double crochet and then slip stitch into that next stitch. And what the really tricky part is um, when you're just learning this stitch combination is kind of um, learning to see where that last stitch goes. So I'll show you. So the last stitch of every row should always be a slip stitch. And you're going into this top part right here. So see that's your chain from the previous row and you're slip stitching in. I'll show you again. So you're slip stitching right in here. All right, so this is what it should look like after you've completed your 21 rows. And so now we're going to start on row 22. So turn your work and we'll begin by chaining one. And we're just going to single crochet in each stitch across the row. Okay, so now the body of our dishcloth is done and now we're going to be working in, working the border, so we'll be working in a round. So for round one, we're gonna start in the same stitch that we're in by making two single crochets in this stitch. So if you'll see where we're at, we're just gonna put two more single crochets in there, one and two. So this first corner has a total of three single crochets. We now have three stitches in the first corner stitch. And now we're going to work along the side of the work and you're going to single crochet 18 stitches along the side. So you're just gonna kind of single crochet in the rows so that way you have 18 single crochets evenly across this edge. To do that, you'll just insert your hook into the side, just as I'm doing now. So that's two, three, and so on. Made um, 18 more single crochets along the side of the work. And now we're going to make the second corner and we're gonna go into that first. So this edge right here, this is the beginning chaining edge of the work. And in that first, that first chain space from like that very first stitch that we made or one of the very first stitches that we made, we're gonna make three single crochets in that stitch to form the second corner. So one, two, three. And then we're just gonna single crochet in each stitch until we get to the next corner. So I've single crocheted across the, the bottom edge and I'm now in that last stitch. So I'm going to make three more single crochets. And now I'm going to be working along the third side. Okay, so I've just single crocheted along the other side of my work, picking up or making 18 single crochets evenly. 
And so now we're going to, now we're getting to this last, to the fourth corner stitch and see there's already a stitch in there. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna make two more single crochets. So now this fourth corner has a total of three stitches and then join with and see so we just made these two and so this next this next stitch you're just going to join with the slip stitch so for round two we're just going to start by chaining two and starting in the same stitch as the chain two, we're going to half double crochet and we're going to half double crochet in each stitch across the row until we get to the corner stitches, which is um, each corner has three stitches. So until you get to that middle stitch, you're going to make three half double crochets in each of those corner stitches. All right, so I'm just approaching my first corner. And so you'll see we have the one, two, three stitches in the corner. So the first, the first stitch, half double crochet, and then so now we're at that middle stitch and we're gonna put three half double crochets in that same stitch. So that's one, two, three, and then one half double crochet and that next stitch. And in each stitch until you get to your next corner stitch. So you're just gonna repeat that process until you get to the end. All right, so I'm just approaching my last few stitches. And now as you can see, I'm at my very last stitch, which is the corner, which is that center corner stitch. So we're just gonna finish off by putting three half double crochets in that very last stitch. And then end by joining with the first half double crochet of the round with a slip stitch. And now we are pretty much done. So now all we have left to do is to cut our yarn. Tiny one. So we're just gonna cut and secure your yarn. and finish up by weaving in your ends. And once you've weaved in your end and got it secured to your liking, then you can just go ahead and cut your yarn. And there you have it, your crochet cabin dishcloth. If you found the tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks.